Sephora and the packaging. Ooh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video, we are doing a dope or nope on the new Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Sticks. So I just showed these in my PR haul and I was like, oh my goodness, I really want to do a quick little dope or nope on these sticks because I was really excited about them. I really love the Vanish Foundation Stick. I think it is the best foundation stick on the market. It looks beautiful on the skin and the fact that they came out with highlighting sticks has me so excited too. So before we get into this review, make sure to click that subscribe button if you want to be a part of the Miller Squad. Also ring the little bell as well if you want to be part of the Notification Squad. And now let's go ahead and get on into this review and swatches of these new hourglass highlighting sticks all right so first off I just want to go ahead and get into like the information about these when they launch the pricing all that fun stuff first off these are launching online January 9th and in stores January 26 and they are going to be retailing for $42 so I know that this little guy for being $42 is pretty pricey. I was comparing it to other cream highlight sticks on the market. And for instance, we have Benefit, which is $30. Smashbox has one for $29. And then I believe NARS has one for $39, which is $3 cheaper than this. So this is definitely a little bit more on the higher end side. But if you guys know Hourglass Cosmetics, they are not a cheap cosmetic brand. Their stuff has always been a little bit more higher priced or more on the higher end in Sephora. And I feel like you're getting that because one, usually the formulas are amazing and the packaging is always like top notch. Like you're not like getting cheap packaging with them either. I've always been a lover of Hourglass Cosmetics. I have been using their products since 2012, 2013, when I was a school teacher in Irvine. I remember that specifically every single time because that's when I really got into makeup and I was really into Hourglass because I love their Immaculate Foundation. It worked beautifully for my acne prone, oily skin at the time. I saw Casey Holmes rave about it, so I jumped on it and I have been in love with Hourglass ever since. There are a total of five shades that are launching in these Hourglass sticks. Let me pull off this top right here. I love it that they did this little case. Sorry there are already fingerprints on here because I was already playing with them. But basically I'm gonna read the back for you guys real quick. These are a collection of highlighters designed to deliver an instant flash of light to the skin. They're seamless blendability for a glowing melted into the skin highlight. They're smooth weightless texture for effortless application. They're designed to be used anywhere, including eyelids, lips, as a highlight, base of glow, or metallic finish. So there's a total of five shades in here. They have a great shade range. I really love their shade range. It gears towards all different skin tones. They have different application tips on the back. So for the underglow, the way that you could use this is one, you could dot Vanish Flash all over the face and then dot your Vanish Foundation all over the face and then blend together for with the Vanish Brush, which I love the Vanish Brush for their Vanish Foundation Stick. It's amazing, like those two paired together are the best. So you could put this all over the face and then go over it with your foundation and then you can have that glow kind of from within look. So for the overglow, you could put your foundation on first and then you can take these Vanish Sticks and put them at the high points of the face. So basically top of the cheekbone, brow bone, bridge of nose and cupid's bow. So those are a few different ways of how to use these. I really love cream highlight sticks because I feel like they just give more of a natural glow and they just bring like a really pretty like dewy look to the skin that's more natural and I love that for every day it's perfect. So the one that I am wearing right now is Champagne Flash. This is my favorite one because I am so fair but this is what it looks like. Mine got a little smashed, sorry about that. And it is just stunning. I love this one. It's a beautiful champagne highlight. Look at that. You see how pretty that is. They're also not sticky, they're blendable. They just glide right on. I applied this on top of my foundation, which I actually applied it on top of powder, which I know is like a big no-no when it comes to cream and powders but I had no problem with this breaking up anything like it did not break up my foundation even after I set it and the way that I did it is I took my beauty blender and I pressed it 
and then I press it on top of my cheekbones and then on my nose and my cupid's bow. But I really love the shade. The shade is definitely my favorite out of all of them. And the next shade that we have here is called Pink Flash. And this one is more of a pinky champagne highlight. This one also glides on beautifully on the skin, but you can really see that pink tone to it. This also would be really pretty as a blush topper. I think if you took your beauty blender or your sponge and you just dab it on top of the cheeks, I think that would be really gorgeous gorgeous but that is pink flash right there all right so next up we have gold flash and this one is another really really pretty one. Oh my goodness look at that this one could work for all skin tones and I just love the yellow undertone to it too so I would have to say this one probably is my second favorite but that is beautiful also if you go and top it off with like what was that one gilded from Laura Geller on top of that would be really pretty. So for the fourth shade, we have rose gold flash. And obviously this is more of a rose gold shade. That is what it looks like right there. This is not one that I would gravitate to because I feel like this would look kind of gray on my skin tone but it would look beautiful on deeper skin tones, like medium to deep, I wanna say, or if you have just like a nice tan, I think it would look really pretty. Or even, you know what? You know how I would wear this? I would wear this all over my lid. I think it would be gorgeous all over the lid. I like it that they're so versatile, you know? And the last shade here is Bronze Flash. So this is like a true bronze. Look at this, oh my gosh. This is stunning. This is another color that I obviously can't wear, you know, on my cheekbones, it's too dark, but I would wear it all over my lids. I think this would be beautiful for like a monochromatic look. Oh, I would love that one, like a summertime look, you know, like a bronzy summertime look. That would be absolutely stunning. And again, they just feel so creamy. They blend out so beautifully too. I really like that. I like it that they're not sticky or tacky. They just literally feel like second skin. Like it doesn't feel like there's any product on my skin, which I love. So are these a dope or a nope in my book? I think you guys are already gonna know the answer to this question. And to me, they're a dope. I really like them. I like the formula of them. I love the colors. I really love Champagne Flash. And I just love the way that it brings a really pretty dewy, subtle look to the skin. I like it that they're not glittery. I like it that they feel like second skin. They don't feel tacky. They don't break up my foundation. I do have to say they are a bit pricey for being $42, but again, comparing them to other products in Sephora for being like $30 for Benefit, $29 for Smashbox, $39 for NARS. But I have to say for it being Hourglass, Hourglass is usually on the higher end side. I have to say that the packaging is very luxurious and I really love the formula too. So for me, they are dope. But do you guys need these in your life for it being a $42 highlighter? Probably not. If you like more luxury brands, if you're a lover of Hourglass and you want to splurge on yourself a little bit and get a really pretty cream highlight, then I definitely say get your hands on it because I think it's worth it. I really like them and I have to give them a dope. But again, I'm not saying go get your hands on them because they are pretty pricey. But if you want to splurge on yourself and pamper yourself, then I say go for it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick review on the new Hourglass Vanish Flash sticks. I hope that this helped you kind of figure out like what colors you like, if this is a dope or a nope for you, all that fun stuff. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future reviews and dopes and nopes because I'm bringing them back. I'm going to try to do a lot more for you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.